You're going to make me a star. I am a star. Well, obviously, you don't know who I am. No, I don't. I don't have the foggiest, and I really don't have time to play these games. Uh, perhaps I'm too presumptuous, assuming you'd recognize me. Miles Barrett. Miles Barrett? The director? Precisely. However, if you're not free at the moment... Oh, no, I am. I am. I'm, I'm... Please, come in. It's just that I've had a very hectic day. I, I wasn't thinking. Thank you. as I could. You are the most wonderful man I have ever known. <sighs> Julie. Listen, we may not have much time and I have to talk to you. It's very important. It's really good to see you. Nico, when I saw you in the ICU... Oh, cute. Real cute. How'd you like to be in the same prison with this dude? Quite sure what I did to deserve all this enthusiasm, but I'm certainly glad I did it. It's this. It arrived in the mail this morning from the oh. Wildlife Association. I think it's incredible. I have never had that much money in my life. Well, not in your name, anyway. No, it's not in my name, and it's all thanks to you. Well, I'm not sure that that's altogether true. Oh, Jackson, if you hadn't insisted I go after the inheritance and found out about the misuse of money and threatened them with a lawsuit... I think I'd rather put that in the category of a lucky break. Oh, I don't think so. I think it was your legal expertise. I can't believe this. Almost every penny of Alex's estate is going to be returned. Do you have any idea what this means? This is independence, freedom. This is a future I still think for my something son. Yeah, what's that? Now, these reactions, should she somehow find out what you've been up to? Trying to tell me something? Contrary to popular belief, I do have a conscience. It doesn't bother me often, but when it does, it compels me to do the right thing. Now, if I'm in the throes of such a compulsion, Palmer, I cannot guarantee to you that I won't run to Natalie with everything that I know. And I can't imagine that she'd be very happy to hear it. Can you? All the things that Alex ever wanted for his son, and now I'll be able to give them to him, thanks to you. Oh, no, I, 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 I think you're giving me too much credit on this thing, Natalie. You know, modesty really doesn't become you. Would you please sit down? Sit. Yes. Maybe you prefer the cynical side of my nature? No, I think it's just a cover, and you're not comfortable with praise. I must admit I am uncomfortable. Well, I don't care if you're uncomfortable or thank not. You. I want to thank you for helping me change my life. Natalie. Jackson, it's true. After the trial, I had hit rock bottom emotionally and certainly financially, and then there you were. You helped me with the money by selling the gifts from Palmer, and then you invested it. We made more money, and now this, this. You have just insured Timothy and Mai's future. That means a great deal to me. I don't know what it means to you. But to not have to be beholden to anyone ever again, be my own person and in charge of my life, and it's all thanks to you. No, please, wait a minute. I'm sorry. But am I embarrassing you? No. No, it's not that. Listen, uh, there's, there's something that I should tell you. Hey, what's the problem? You can't read? I'm sorry. I... Give us a break. Hey, look, Kelly, right. you're my job, all right? I could have been assigned to a drug bust. Yeah, but you don't... But have... no, I got you. You don't have to jump all over, all Yeah, right? I do, because I'm a cop, and she's not where she's supposed to be, all right? You can't be in here unless you have a pet. I had to see him. Julie Chandler. How about this? Brent know your schmoozing with machine gun Kelly here? You know Charlie? He's only one of my best buddies. You don't remember me? PV High, tall, handsome guy. <laughs> How was he ahead of you? Josh. <laughs> Josh Wileski. Of course I remember you. How are you? You're in town now? It sure looks like it. Josh. Can I please have a minute with Nico? I owe him a lot. Say thanks and let's go. 
but I was allowed to see him when he was in. That was before. This is now. Okay, you're not on my list. You don't get in. Just, just a, a, a couple, couple, couple of minutes. Hey, look, man, I don't put my job on the line for punks like you. Okay, you want to see the guy? Get yourself a pass. I'll be back. Thanks, thanks, thanks a heap, man. Ease up, machine gun. All right, enjoy the rest while you can. I, I hear you're about to be sent back to the state country club. Well, please sit down and make yourself comfortable. My goodness, of course I know who you are. You're not only a famous director, your reputation as an acting coach is absolutely legendary. I mean, most of the big stars in the business owe their success to you. Yes, yes. I, I happened to be in the rehearsal hall yesterday when you auditioned for Blythe Spirit. Really, you were? I had no idea. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Carl! It's all right. It's all right, sweetheart. Yes, Mommy's here. Yes, uh, yes. Mommy's here. Well, I, I'm just so, um, sorry that I couldn't accept the part. You know, they wanted me. Mm -hmm. Desperately, actually. But I couldn't just commit myself to such a long-term run. Carl? I'm afraid I've come at a bad time. No, 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 no. Really, it's fine. Please. I, I'm just so delighted to know that you are impressed with my performance. It was adequate. Or I wouldn't be here. Yes, well... I'm flattered that someone of your reputation would take the time to come here. Carl, what's the matter with I you? Did you hear me? Kate. I was just talking to my mom. My little brother only just swallowed his marble collection. Carl! No, you can't go! It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. It's all right. Mommy's here. I'm sorry, Mr. Barrett. Perhaps I should uh, come back another time. No, no, really. I, I want to hear everything you have to say. Just one minute, please. Just one minute. Shh. It's okay, sweetheart. Sh yes, it's okay. Just, just, oh, yes, that's all. Oh, hello. Hello, baby. Just, oh, you just be quiet now. Yes, yes, just calm down. Just close your eyes. Just go to sleep. Miss Kay. I would like to work with you. See if your potential could be developed. I mean, you might, with diligence and direction, become an actress of great depth. Oh, what a wonderful offer. figures on my desk first thing in the morning. Uh, what about your 10 o'clock with McIntyre? I confirm that. You tell him that if he's not here, I'll close the deal without him. Um, also, I want you to light a fire under Henderson's butt. Tell him I want Erica's limousine yesterday. These guys would be such prima donnas that... Uh, didn't you ever hear of waiting to be announced? By whom? There's no one out there. Should have been a twin. Sorry, I can't talk to you now, Pam. No, this is urgent. How urgent? I've uncovered some information. I need to go over it with you. Good or bad? It depends. It could be to your advantage. I need your input. Well, I'm on my way out. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Oh, no, that's not good enough. Uh, Pamela. No, I didn't knock myself out on the steel to have you blow it. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Travis, I realize your adoring wife is waiting for you, but I need you. Now. All right. Why don't you have dinner with me? I presume. Yes, where did you find them? You left them in the gallery the other day. I'm sorry I didn't get by with them any sooner. What's that? You're busy. I won't disturb you any longer. No, actually, please come in. You are just in time to share some very good news. What's that? Thanks to Jackson's efforts, the Wildlife Association has returned almost all of Alex's inheritance to Timothy and me. <laughs> oh, wow. Congratulations. Oh. Both of you. This is quite a coup. Well, thank you, but as I'm sure Natalie's told you, the Canadian Wildlife Association was already in a bit of hot water with the Canadian government over a tax issue. A little juggling of the books? So it would seem, evidently, whatever it was would have created enough embarrassment had it come to a court suit that they elected to do, and wisely, I might add anything that they could to avoid that. Very clever of you. 
Not really. Just a lot of digging and a very lucky payoff. From what I see here, they'll be paying off in installments. Yes, that's the deal. That way, Natalie enjoys a nice tax break. Yeah. It's always sad when an organization with such a reputation gets caught with its hand in the till. Oh, I feel the same way. I mean, Alex obviously had a great deal of respect for them. He never would have left his money otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they were careless to be exposed so easily. My father's accountant used to do the annual financial report. Still does, as far as I know. Claude Devon, you know him, you remember? Well, if there had been any, any strange things, he would have spotted them immediately. Yes, you would think so, wouldn't you? Unless, of course, he was in on it. No, 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 not Claude. He's a man of total integrity. He would never get involved in anything underhanded. Jeremy, do I detect a note of suspicion? <laughs> no, not at all. I only have but admiration for you and your detective work. Well, I thank you again. And I'm sure we agree it was for a very good cause. Well, indeed it is. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment at the gallery. Uh, very happy for you, Natalie. Thank you. You're welcome. Jackson? Sure. Excuse me, is this sneak? I thought you were a BU. What is this, huh? What is this? Uh, college. I split. I went to uh, Center City Police Academy and right. did my rookie stint in Landview, and uh, I just transferred here. I can't believe that. How long have you been in town? Why didn't you call me, huh? Hey, I'm a busy man, Brett. You think keeping America safe is easy? Oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over it. I mean, you were the last guy I would have picked to be a cop. I mean, remember those stunts you pulled in high school? God, I mean, that time I was breaking your locker and I was filching that picture of Robin McCall. Ooh. Is <sighs> she still around? No, she's in Hollywood doing commercials. Oh, man, she's got what it takes. <laughs> so it's good to see you. We got a lot of catching yeah, up to do. You bet. <laughs> so you know this guy? Um, well, we got to straighten something out. That's about the same message I got from uh, your girlfriend. What, she was here? <sighs> she's looking good, Charlie. You did all right. <laughs> Thanks. Did she, uh... Did she go in and talk to him? I was on the phone with headquarters when I got this very pleasant rear view of this uh, blonde ducking in the room. When I got inside, let's say, uh, the vibes in the room were very intense. Very intense. I really want this job, Dr. Martin, and I know that I can do it. Uh, I can pick up all that medical mumbo-jumbo just like that, and, and I'm very, very flexible. I could start right now, if you want. My goodness. I'm very impressed by your enthusiasm. <laughs> However, I do think the first thing of all is uh, for you to put in a few days doing volunteer work. That way you can get the feel of the hospital routine and uh, see if you really will enjoy working here. But, but there's no question. I will love working here. I, I will. I know it. Well, even so, even so, uh, spending a few days here will allow you to uh, become acquainted with the staff and get to know the other departments in the hospital, outpatient clinic and all that kind of thing. It'll all stand you in good stead when you do take up your duties, which, of course, cannot be until after Cliff gets back. As long as I really have the job. You really have the job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Dr. Well, Dr. where do I, I need I... your help? I can't get in to see Nico. Sorry. It's okay. I was just leaving. Why don't you go down and uh, uh, check with the, uh, the nurse station, and they'll find somebody to bring you down for uh, uniform and orientation. We'll talk later on, all right? All right. Okay. Thank you very yes. much. I'm really very sorry Miss Tyler wasn't at her desk, I didn't think. What's the problem, Julie? The problem is that there's a policeman at Nico's hospital room door, and he won't let me in. He says no visitors without a pass, and I have to see him. It's very important. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. But you're the head of the hospital. But I have no authority where Nico's visitors are concerned. Nico's under police control. I have to abide by their wishes. But I was allowed to see him before. Well, that was different. Nico was hovering between life and death, and you were the one closest to him. I still am. He needs me. Dr. Martin, I need to talk to him. It's very important. Look, I'm just asking for a few minutes, that's all. Yeah. Julie, it's out of my hands. But if I go through all that police bureaucracy stuff, it'll take days, and Nico could be out by then. He needs to know something very important. Julie, there's nothing I can do to help you. If there were, I certainly would. But rules are rules. There's no way around that. <laughs> Surgeon. 
this is my gun. Well, who are you? What do you want? I'm Judith Allen. The Baby Be Good agency sent me. Oh, yes, of course. Of course, Judith Allen. I remember your name. Well, in fact, they recommended you very highly. I remember that. Well, I can't talk to you now because I'm in the middle of a meeting. Oh, well, perhaps we could arrange another, another meeting at a more convenient time. Uh, uh, come in, just come in, come in, come in. Excuse me. It's all right, darling. Hello. Oh, please. Oh, what is it? Yes, you're, you're just, you're fed and you're dry and, and I just can't imagine what it is, baby doll. Oh, just please stop crying. Stop crying now, won't you? Oh, oh. I left somebody on the telephone hanging on. Oh, and I'm neglecting my guest. I'm so sorry. Perhaps I could hold the baby while you answer your call. Oh, yes. Oh, please, yes. That would be great. Well, you just please, though, be very careful with this baby. I shall. All right. Don't worry. It's okay, Bianca. Just Hello, this is a little nice, star. nice lady. There you are. Come to oh, get you. Yay! Yes, hello. I'm very sorry I kept you. Yes, of course, there's always someone here. Yes, you can just bring it right around any time you like, yes. A delivery, I can't believe it. Probably another present for the baby. <laughs> well, this is amazing. This is wonderful. How did you do that? Yes, well, we had a little talk. She's a very beautiful baby. Yes, she is. She's just a heavenly baby. Thank you very, very much. I'd be happy to hold her if... You'd like to just continue and end your chat with your guest. Oh, oh well. Come back later. Oh, no, please stay. Uh, would you mind then? <laughs> no, not at all. We'll just sit over here. <sighs> Motherhood. I love it, but it does have its moments. I can see that this is not a good time to talk. However, I would like to know if you're uh, interested in my offer. Yes, I am. Yes, I would very much like to work with you, especially since you say I have potential. Oh, I think you do, yes, but, well, it would take several sessions before I'd know for sure if you had uh, what it takes to be a true actress. And then? Well, if I should find in you the gold that I suspect is there, I'm in a position to offer you any number of interesting roles in various productions. Which you would direct? Some, yes, yeah, some. And some on which I'd serve as consultant, but it will take time and energy and hard work. Oh, well, I have never been one to shy away from a challenge. So let's try one of these sessions. Let's see what happens. Fine. I'll check my schedule and I'll be in touch with you soon. All right, thank you very much. I'm so glad that you came by. Again, I'm very sorry that it was so hectic. Uh, it's all part of life, isn't it? Good day, Miss Kate. Good day. Well, my goodness. My goodness. Well, well, well. You are getting along just famously, aren't you? She's a very good baby. Oh, yes, she is. She's a very good baby, aren't you? Yes, 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 you're a good baby. It's just been a very bad day. It's been very hectic because everything's just been happening all at once, you know? I mean, the phone and... I don't believe it. Again? Come on, Bianca, let's go answer the phone. Let's go answer the phone, sweetheart. Oh, well, just a minute. Hey, hold on, whoever you are, I'll be right there. Hello, hello? Uh, uh, hello, hi, hi, sweetheart, you okay? You sound kind of hassled. Oh, darling, I'm so glad it's you. When are you coming home? Uh, well, I guess I'll be home in about an hour or so. Oh, but, uh, good. Look, I've got a big favor to ask of you. Yes? Well, I, I was wondering if I could bring home a guest for dinner. I'm sorry to spring you at this time, but, uh, well, it's, it's a business associate. <clears throat> well, this is fine, darling. Absolutely fine. You know me. You know I never, never object to business entertaining. Only one? Yep. Yeah, just, just one. Uh, look, uh, thanks, thanks. You, you really are an angel. I, I appreciate this. How's my other angel doing? Oh, your other angel is just great. She's really dying to see you, though. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be there soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. I can't believe it. Now my husband wants to bring home a dinner guest. I mean, everything has just happened to be everything at once. My cook's night off, my maid left me for some personal reason, marbles, the phone rings, the bell rings, and now I have to cook. I don't cook. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna cook if 
fabulous dinner and take care of the baby. Uh, Mrs. Montgomery, oh, I could baby, stay baby, for, uh, baby, for an hour or so with the baby while you get your dinner together, if you'd like. Oh, but that's a terrible imposition. Not at all. I have no plans for the evening. And it would be a good chance for you to get to know me and how I work. Yes. Oh, this would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Really, this, you're a lifesaver. You're an absolute lifesaver. Don't give up. I love you, Nico. I do. How's Kelly doing? Not bad, considering. He must be okay. I hear he's about to be released. Well, he's strong. Made a quick recovery. You, you... You're really something, you know that? I had to see you. You look great in that uniform. Thanks. You look great, too. Yeah, I feel a lot better now that you're here. I missed you. You know what happened? Yeah, I, uh, I read about it in the paper. Creed kidnapped you, then held you hostage. Did, did, did he hurt you? No. No, I'm fine. I was just a little scared. If my father hadn't been there... I, I can't believe it. He sneaks on the plane, Creed jumps off, your, your dad lands it, and that, that's it's incredible. He was wonderful. And what do they do? <laughs> they send him back to prison. Well, not the same place. It's a work farm. Uh, well, that, that's better. At least uh, Creed's goons can't get him there, right? Creed told me that you were dead. He said he killed you and took your place in the trunk. When I heard on the radio that you were alive and that you were here, I, I prayed so hard. It was... It was really nice of you to come by after the airport. You knew I was here. Yeah, yeah, and it meant a lot to me. You know, you you showed me how much you care. I didn't think you'd remember. Yeah, I remember real well. Nico, we have to talk about that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Hey, what? Cecily. What? Look, have you seen Julie? Well, thanks a lot for noticing. Cecily, have you seen her or not? Hey, don't get snitty with me because she's got you running around in circles. I gave you good advice. Cecily, you if you know where she is, just tell me, okay? Okay, you want to know where she is? Yes. A few minutes ago, she ran into your grandfather's office begging him to get her in to see Nico. So what? They're friends. Oh, yeah. Real good friends. Charlie, you've been replaced. Don't start with me, Cecily, all right? Charlie, it's over. Don't you see it? She's totally hung up on Nico now. You don't know what you're talking about, so just butt out of it, all right? Fine. You want to get stomped on? Go right ahead. Look, I asked you a simple question. I didn't ask for your opinion, and I don't care what you think, all right? Great. You got your answer. Try Nico's room. She's probably in there by now having a wonderful time. No, Cecily. Hey! Where do you get off pretending to be my friend, huh? And giving me advice. Charlie, I am your friend. I know what Julie's doing, and I think you deserve a lot better. What do you mean, what Julie's doing? From what I've seen, there seems to be a lot more than friendship going on between those two. That's all. Meaning what? Look, it doesn't matter, okay? Just go ask Julie. No, Cecily, you are not going anywhere until you tell me what you're talking about, all right? Look, you started this, and you're going to finish it. Now tell me what you saw. I have my own place, but I still love Mama's cooking. Mama Leone's Pasta Suprema. Rich sauce. Chill out. You're not going to have to torture me. Okay, fine. It. Would you just tell me? A while back, I went by Julie's to run lines with her. She and Nico were in the gazebo, and... And, and what? What? They were kissing. I don't believe you. I didn't think you would, but it's true. They didn't see me, and I wasn't going to advertise that I was there. Okay, Cecily, so what? So they were kissing. 
Charlie, she was enjoying it. You know, Cecily, you would do anything to break us up, wouldn't you? Charlie, I didn't want to tell you, but I'm glad it's out because you're too good to go drooling after her. I'm sorry if I've hurt you. I really am. About uh, what we said. Nico, you were so weak and everything, I wasn't sure if you heard me. Yeah, I... I heard you. You said fight. Because I love you. Nico, you saved my life. You're my friend. I really care about you. I mean, you wouldn't be in here if you hadn't helped me, and... I was so afraid... That, that I was... that I was dying, right? I wanted you to know how much you mean to me. It was important to me that you live, that you not give up. It's all right. I mean, I'm doing a lot better. Why are you so sad? I meant what I said. I do love you. Just not that way. I understand, all right? You, you don't have to tell me. I mean, there's a, there's all kinds of love, right? What do you think? I'm, I'm stupid. No. I think you're very smart. And I think you're very nice. So you were scared stiff that you thought I was thinking a lot more, right? I just didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> Me? No. We're friends, right? I mean, Charlie's your number one man, so... Right. So that's it. If you ever change your mind, let me know, okay? Well, Liz, I better go before I get caught. But I'll be back when I can. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. I don't know, pull the plug in any potential problems. We're still vulnerable. Yeah, we're talking about that on the way to dinner. <sighs> okay, what'd you have in mind? French? Italian? Why don't we try home cooking for a change? Uh, no, no. Sorry, I don't do that. <laughs> no, no, neither do I. But as a matter of fact, Erica's cooking a, a feast right now. Ah, oh, uh, is she expecting me? Yeah, she is. You get a chance to meet her and our gorgeous baby. Oh, Travis, I'm afraid I'm going to have to bow out. I have an early breakfast meeting in the morning. Oh, Pine Valley's not that far away. My driver uh, can have you back in town in a no, decent hour. No, no, really. Another time. I've got a lot of homework to do. For me or for this other client? Both. Crises come in bunches. Don't spread yourself too thin. I never do. So when are we going to get together? Uh, see, my meeting's at 7, so that should take a... Uh, hour or so at the most, and then I'm all yours. Why don't we say 9 o'clock here at my office? Done. Good. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll take some notes on these tonight. Okay, I'll do the same. And uh, thank you for the invitation. I'm sorry I can't make it. Well, as you say, we'll do it another time. Yes, yes, maybe here in New York. Uh, uh, we could get more done that way. Um, I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, no outside disturbance. Better. Night. Good night. Cornflakes, baking soda, sugar. Charlie, it's okay. I talked to Nico. He understands that my feelings for him are just as a friend and nothing more. You're sure about that? Of course I'm sure. Julie, who are you trying to convince, huh? Me or you? Charlie, what's the matter with you? With me? 
Philly, nothing's the matter with me. You know, you don't know what you want. That's your problem. And you think you can jerk me around until you figure it out. Charlie, something's obviously happened. Why don't you just tell me what it is? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing has happened. Not a damn thing. Julie, I'm so tired of this. You know, I wish you would just make up your mind. I have made up my mind. It's always been made up. No, you see, that, that's the trouble. You say one thing, and then you do another. Julie, would you just be honest with me? All right, starting right now, just level with me. Or else we're through. Montrachet. It was always my father's favorite. I remember he used to hold the glass to the light and twirl the wine. What was it he used to call it? Oh, I don't know. What. Liquid gold. Well, what was he like? My father? Well, I didn't really know him. Did you say chicken? Yes, Veronique. Beautiful. So, uh, are you ready for some of this? Yes. Uh-huh. And like so. And now I'd like to drink a toast to your newfound independence. To you for making it possible. Mm. Nice. Liquid gold. Mm -hmm. Last time that I had a home-cooked meal, I can't remember the last time I had a home-cooked meal. Really? <laughs> Oh, I love to cook. I adore it. Not for myself, of course. There's no incentive. Well, it's because you're such a people person. Am I a people person? Well, I don't know. I may have been. I really don't remember what I used to be like. <laughs> a long time ago. Anyway, right now, everything feels like uh, a brand new world has opened up to me. I am happy and excited and feel alive for the first time in ages. Well, you certainly had it coming. You were going to tell me something right before Jeremy arrived. What was it? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten. I'm sorry, but I guess I have. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, you have a mind like a steel trap. Well, I guess it must not have been very important, or I wouldn't have forgotten it. Hmm? What? Well, I don't like to be repetitious, but I am very grateful to you. Please, you, uh, you paid for my services. Mm -mm, it wasn't just that. When everyone thought I was a town pariah and uh, treated me like a tramp who deserved everything she got, you came along, you didn't do that. You didn't judge me, didn't try to exploit me. You just there. Treated me like a human being, helped me. You were a friend. Well, what if I wanted to be something more than a friend? I couldn't handle it. Not now. Okay. Okay. Two, um, friends. Excuse me. I'd like to see Mr. Bruce McDonald, please. I'm sorry, we're closed for the day. It's rather important. Would you please tell him it's Jeremy Hunter? I'm sorry, sir. There's no Mr. time McDonald, for any more appointments. Mr. McDonald, my name is Jeremy Hunter. Can I have a word with you, please? I tried to tell him we were closed. It's all right, Jeanette. Go along. I'll lock up. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Hunter. Your father was one of our staunchest supporters. Yes, well, that is why I'm here. I want to thank you personally for agreeing to settle out of court with my stepmother. It was very generous of you. Well, to be perfectly honest, I didn't enjoy giving up such a large sum. However, it seemed the wiser choice. Yeah, well, I heard of the circumstances. My father always had great distrust in your organization. And well, he might, but in this case, the embezzlement was very cleverly done. Obviously not that clever. When your stepmother's legal representatives unearthed the discrepancy in our records, it was a great shock. A man whom we had complete confidence in. I assume the person is not on the staff anymore? He was dismissed immediately. We couldn't take a chance on adverse publicity curtailing our fundraising. Naturally. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have more time to give you, but I, I must be going. I understand. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. 
Good night. Good night, Mr. McDonald. Yes, uh, may I speak with him, please? This is Bruce McDonald, the director of the Canadian Wildlife Association. I'm sorry, Mr. McDonald. He's out at the moment. May I take a message? Yes, if you would, please. Tell him Jeremy Hunter was here. I'm sure he'll be interested. Yes, sir. He will be as soon as he comes in. Yes, thank you. No matter how frightfully dirty a house gets, there's always Murphy's oil. Sweetheart, come home. Hello, darling. Wow. You look marvelous, as always. Thank you. Our uh, beautiful baby daughter has been put down for the night, mm -hmm. and I have prepared a heavenly dinner. And, well, where's our guest? Didn't Polly call you? No. Oh, Polly, she was supposed to call you. My associate had a breakfast meeting in New York tomorrow morning and couldn't afford the time to come all the way down here. Honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you to all this trouble for nothing. Uh, not nothing. I mean, my goodness, I guess we'll just have to have a cozy dinner, you know, just for two. We'll have to sacrifice ourselves and enjoy it. Well, if you're taking this well. <laughs> well, why not? Who's, who's here? <gasps> Oh, how beautiful. Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. <laughs> Judith, this is my husband, Mr. Montgomery. Darling, this is Judith Allen. How do you do, sir? Nice meeting. Oh, Judith has just been a godsend. She's been helping me with Bianca, helping me with dinner. It was a pleasure. Everything's in order, Mrs. Montgomery. I don't want to intrude on your evening. Well, uh, I would like to pay you. Oh, no, please. I was happy to be of help. My references are on the table. So nice. To meet you, Mr. Montgomery. Uh, nice, nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Good night. Where did you find her? <laughs> the Baby Be Good Agency. Wow. I'm telling you, darling, I was having the most horrible day of my entire life. The baby was crying, I mean, all day long. The phone was ringing, an unexpected guest popped in. Then the doorbell was ringing, and Carl ran off for some unknown reason, some personal emergency concerning marbles. And then all of a sudden... This gift from heaven appeared at the door and saw that I was in a big mess and volunteered to stay a few hours in order to help me out. I mean, she was absolutely fabulous. And she was great with the baby. I mean, Bianca took to her immediately. And she even helped me prepare dinner. Can you believe it? Bianca? Judith, silly. Mm. <laughs> How are they? Hire her immediately. These are terrific. Oh, I know. Oh, mm. I know. She's amazing, isn't she? And the Baby Be Good Agency really recommended her very, very highly. You know, of course, she left her references, and I'm going to check all of that thoroughly. Do I detect a change in tone here about nannies? Well, I think that it wasn't such a bad idea after all. Oh, yeah, huh? I mean, after all, it's going to give me lots more um, free time. You know, I had a feeling it'd come around. <laughs> Good evening, and how are we feeling today? I've always wanted to say that. Here, hold that. How'd you get in here? Hospital personnel. I work here. Well, you do get around, don't you? Well, I'm not the only one. I hear that uh, Julie was in to see you several times. So what? So nothing. It's nice that she cares so much about you. She's a good kid. How long have you known Charlie and Julie, anyway? Oh, almost two years, ever since I first came here. They were the perfect couple in high school. Real solid, huh? Oh, like they were made for each other. Wouldn't look at anybody else. You couldn't pry them apart. You would know, wouldn't you? I don't believe in matches made in heaven. In fact, I see some very rough seas ahead. Oh, yeah? How come? Because of you. Enjoy your dinner.
Charlie, I am being honest with you. The hell you are. How many times do I have to say it? Nico is my friend. You are the man I love. What more can I say that would make you believe me? Julie, you don't have to say anything, all right? It's not what you say. It's what you do. Because I care what happens to Nico? No! No, you know that's not what I'm talking about. <sighs> Julie, ever since Nico has come here, you've put him ahead of me. That's not true. Yes, it is. Yes, you run off after him every time he screws up. You put yourself on the line trying to break him out of prison. You run here to the hospital as soon as your dad lands the, the plane. You know, Nico has always come first with you. Julie, everything has changed. You know, nothing is like it was last summer. A lot has happened since then. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Nico. Charlie, I love you. Do you? Do you really? You know I do. Then marry me. What? I want us to get engaged. I want the whole world to know that you're mine. 